Okay, good evening, councillors, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Cabinet meeting of the 16th of December 2021. Uh, so this will be our, our last one of this calendar year. Uh, so before we go into the business, I'd like to wish you all a safe, happy and Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. So straight into the agenda, the meeting is now open. Apologies for absence. We have received apologies from Councillor Stephen Doyle this evening. Uh, and I believe everybody else is present. Item two, declarations of interest. Does anybody have any interest to declare? No, none have been notified and no one's indicated. Item three is question time. Uh, in questions from the public. I've not received any questions uh, from the public for this cabinet meeting. Item four on the agenda is matters referred to cabinet in accordance with overview and scrutiny procedure rules. Uh, this evening we have a recommendation from Health and Wellbeing Scrutiny Committee uh, in the absence of the Chairman, uh, Councillor Daniel Maycock, who is the Vice Chairman of the Committee, is here to present their recommendation. Councillor Maycock. Thank you, Chair, and thank you, uh, Committee, for having me here uh, this, uh, this uh, sorry, Cabinet, for having me here this evening. Uh, just a little bit of background. Um, so I understand the restrictions that the borough have may have uh, to influence service matters relating to health. Uh, so in regards to this recommendation that I'm going to present to you tonight, I see it as more of a area where well-being could be influenced and not so much mental health services. Uh, but in promoting mental well-being will inevitably promote better mental health outcomes. So in that case the recommendation is that the committee recommend to Cabinet that Cabinet's attention be drawn to mental health service delivery in Tamworth and request that Cabinet make it priority for their time and concern. Thank you Chair. Okay, thank you Councillor Maycock. Does anybody have any comments or questions for Councillor Maycock on the recommendations of scrutiny? Councillor Cook. Yeah, thank you, Mr Chairman. Um, obviously, I think a lot of us will be thinking to start with that mental health services fall more under public health and the county council. However, that would be disingenuous to what the real situation is in society these days. I recall a few years ago when we were you know, looking at how this council certainly gets involved in providing or ensuring and enabling mental health services are out there. We, we need to be aware of it and we need to be keyed into it as a council for the simple reason of, perfect example in the world, if someone presented themselves at our reception and they were homeless, the easiest thing in the world for Tamworth Borough Council to do, and I say this tongue in cheek, is give them a set of keys to a council house. Job done, we house somebody, it's what we're good at. Three months later they could represent themselves at the front desk because they're homeless again, because we didn't address the root cause of what would take them to that point of being homeless. It is essential for the effectiveness of our services and to manage demand that we understand where mental health sits in Tamworth and how we can access those services as a council to push our residents that need that help in that direction. So I support the premise of the recommendation, but I think there would need to be a bigger discussion of what we can and cannot do as a borough council when it's not really our remit as such. But yeah, I support what the scrutiny committee is trying to say, Mr Chairman. Okay, thank you. Any further questions or comments? Councillor Pritchard. Thank you. I just think, as, as Councillor Cook said, it's just understanding our how we fit into that obviously because we can only really you know we can't bother more than we can chew and, and start chasing stuff that we don't have uh, influence or responsibility for so working out uh, where we can you know have the greatest impact on this issue thank you councillor pritchard um councillor maycock could you just give me that recommendation again so i can have a i've got a thought going in my head i'd just like to hear it again that the committee recommend to cabinet that Cabinet's attention be drawn to mental health service delivery in Tamworth and request that Cabinet make it a priority for their time and concern. Thank you. Okay, uh, so, so it's, it's about, it's, it's, it's definitely about service delivery. So, uh, bearing in mind the comments that Councillor Cook and Councillor Pritchard have said, uh, I'm, I'm wondering if uh, I'm wondering if we should hold the, the the recommendation in abeyance for now until we've had the opportunity to look at what that means 
for us in terms of that because because it's very specific about service delivery. So I'm not saying we should uh, uh, we, we should agree or not uh, this evening. What I'm suggesting is actually that we we defer this to the next cabinet meeting and allow cabinet some opportunity to uh, to, to have a look at what that means and and come back and we'll have a, a broad discussion next time. Would 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 cabinet be agreeable to that, Councillor Pritchard? Uh, I, th I think, yeah, because it's quite a, uh, while specific, it's also a very vague recommendation. Um, you know, what, what, what does that mean in practice? And, um, you know, also, could it be about policy development or services? So, yeah, I think if we can have that further discussion, uh, perhaps get some further feedback as well from, from the committee uh, to aid our discussions. Councillor Market. Uh, one thing that I'd just like to add as well was uh, the county uh, health meeting. Uh, the other week and they're looking into health in every policy uh, and ensuring that that isn't a box ticking exercise. Now if we or the cabinet were to weigh out on their proposals that come out of that I think that might be a good steer but there's also the wider determinants of health uh, that the county are dealing with in February which might be able to steer cabinet as well. Okay, thank you for that, uh, Councillor. Uh, and bearing in mind that piece of work that you referred to at, at County and, and, and being mindful of that going forward, uh, what, what I'm going to suggest is uh, that we that we do hold this recommendation in abeyance, find out what the, the County's position is uh, in terms of that health in every policy, uh, and then invite uh, the committee back or yourself to, uh, to, to a later Cabinet meeting to consider that with, with more information. Is the Cabinet happy with that? Yep. Okay, in that case, could you feed that back to, to your committee and uh, uh, and we'll pick it up at, uh, at, at an appropriate time. Brilliant, thank you. No, thank you very much and thanks for, for coming this evening. Um, item five on the agenda is the review of council housing repairs policy and it's a portfolio holder for homelessness prevention and social housing, Councillor Farrell. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, I'll be very brief. It's just a refresher, really, of our council housing repairs policy and void standards. Uh, sets out proposals for the repairs policy and void, uh, void standards for further consultation with residents uh, with a view to formally adopting in the future. Um, sets out proposals for a potential move from the uh, standard schedule of rates type contract we've got at the moment to a price per property style contract. Um, it is only a draft policy, uh, it does need to go through consultation. Um, it's worth noting that there's no extra cost associated with this. Um, we, we've had a look at the different options, including uh, removing the golden ticket option, um, also uh, removing recharges from the policy. Um, but it looks, uh, on first glance, that the uh, moving to a price per property um, repairs policy um, is the best option for us. Um, so it's recommended that Cabinet approve, in principle, the updated uh, housing repairs policy. It approves uh, consulting with residents on the policy. Um, Cabinet also delegating authority to the Executive Director of Communities, uh, myself as portfolio holder, uh, in consultation with the Housing and Homelessness Subcommittee. Um, and also uh, delegating authority to the Executive Director for Communities, uh, myself um, and the uh, Executive Director of Finance, uh, moving from the schedule of rates to price per property, subject to a detailed cost and affordability analysis. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Farrell. Does any other Cabinet member have any questions or comments on that at this stage? Councillor Cook. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think, as it says, it is going out to consultation with our tenants, I assume, not our residents. <laughs> Correct. Um, and obviously, we'll go through uh, a few more bits of the sausage machine before it comes back to us. Uh, I think let, let it follow its course for now. Let, let it get through the consultation stage. We've got then some opportunities as members to look through it as well and see what's feeding back. So uh, I think it, it's phase one. We're not making a final decision. So let, let's let it crack on for now and see how it unfolds. Happy to second, if that's what you want to take from it. Yes, thank you for that, Councillor Cook. And I, th I think you're absolutely right. It's uh, it's consultation stage. Let's get it out there. Uh, I, I might preempt some of that though, uh, and say, uh, in terms of the price per property, uh, uh, officers and myself have had many conversations uh, about the price per property uh, option and how that rolls out. 
uh, and I see that as a as a key a key thing we we we've considered. Uh, and I'm also pleased to see that that zero carbon is mentioned uh, in there as a as a as a priority uh, and and is embedded in that. Um, so yeah, it's going out for consultation. Any further questions or comments? It's been moved and seconded. Uh, in that case, all those in favour? Okay, that is carried. Thank you very much. And that concludes the business uh, of Cabinet this evening. Uh, so I uh, wish you a Merry Christmas and close the meeting there. Thank you very much.